So first of all, I've seen the first four episodes of season three. Congratulations. Fast moving. It, fans are going to, of course, love it. Um, I want to start, I think, with the most important question right up front. And Max, it's for you. Um, true or not true, science invented a pill that had you grow like two feet. And I want to know how, what pill this is and how can I get it? There's got to be something in the Chicago water because it was uncanny. Like even, like even the, cause I, I went two years uh, in between season two and three, they almost two years might've been. Uh, and um, yeah, it was two years. And, uh, and we, <laughs> even the people who I saw every day were kind of amazed with my growth. I, I saw my, I remember walking downstairs like a week before we ship out to Vancouver and, um, and I walked downstairs and my mom goes, Max, did you grow overnight? And sure enough, I had grown overnight nearly an inch. And um, so there's got to be something in the water. And thank goodness we filmed it as soon as possible because I was like five, eight or five, nine when we filmed the third season and I'm six feet tall now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say anything except uh, I hate you. And um, <laughs> you know, that, that's what I got. Um, so jumping into things for the three of you guys, um, often when I speak to casts, they talk about, um, they like have a group chat together, you know, like where they're texting all the time. So I'm curious, did you have that? And who uh, texts too much? <laughs> well, we definitely have, we definitely have like, let, let me, let me preface this with, I was 11 when this show started. Uh, the only person that I feel like should have known how to use technology was Mina and Taylor. And I was amazed that we still had like 12 group chats running at the same time because nobody knew how to use technology and make one. Um, I was also amazed at the amount of emails that were sent instead of text messages <laughs> because I don't check my email. I, I sometimes forget that I have an email. Um, so we definitely have many group chats. Uh, and I would say that Parker texts probably the most um, because she'll send like, articles about space uh that she'll find really interesting or she'll probably send like a carl sagan like clip about space it just feels like very parker thing to do <laughs> you guys agree oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of the things about uh this is obviously the third and final season of the series and i'm curious for each of you guys what was it like actually in the last day of filming and how emotional it might have been for you guys. And hypothetically, what did you borrow from set with the intention of bringing it back? I feel like it was funny because we all wrapped at different times. Um, we didn't all wrap on one day. So Max and I wrapped last and it was kind of like watching everybody go home. It was kind of like a dragged out <laughs> version of a goodbye. Um, the last day was really emotional and we all kind of got together there was a big zoom call and everybody was there and it was a big moment um but it, it did feel like we had been preparing for that from like two weeks before just seeing like fewer and fewer people come to work uh i i haven't borrowed anything that i intend on returning i've maybe borrowed a few things that i intend on keeping <laughs> um but uh yeah yeah, the last day, well, yeah, because they we all wrapped at different times. I wrapped, like, the day before, I mean, the day before Christmas Eve or something, something crazy like that, and um, it was very, very, very emotional, and, you know, season wraps, I've never done one before, but the whole crew is there, and these are people that you've worked with for so many years and I was leaving Vancouver and going to New York. So I knew I wasn't going to see most of those people for a very long time. Um, and yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of reflection, a lot of tears and yeah, it's kind of this big release in a way. Um, so you don't really know how it's going to feel, but I cried a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my final day was also Mina's final day. Uh, uh, and it was, it's kind of surreal kind of looking back on it. Um, I don't, it definitely didn't hit me when, when for another like month or two uh, until I, you know, was going back and looking through photos. But um, 
No, it was it was an emotional day for sure, but it was also kind of a, a bittersweet day too because you know we were coming to an end of a, of a journey, but also you know um, lost in space. What what what? Probably the, the most important part of it for me was the people that I met. So I was really looking forward to doing doing uh, other things down the road with 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 these people because I know that they weren't going to leave my life for sure. And um, there's definitely some stuff that I kept. It's season one, we have this silicone dummy kind of thing of, of, of me that they made. It was like life-size at the time. Um, and uh, we only were able to use it for season one, like after, you know, I would pumpkin or run out of hours to work at the day. They would just throw it in the background of a scene and it would look like I was in there. And um, we only used it season one, sat in storage for season two, and then they discovered it in season three. And I would throw it in people's trailers or like on their steps. I have some videos of it. <laughs> and, um, and then like, I got crafty with it. Like I would pretend to be the dummy sometimes. So they think it's the dummy. And then I'd like jump out at them. So I got to keep that. And I used it for online school a few times. Like I would sit it in front of my camera and then I would like go play the new Spider-Man game or something. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. <laughs> and then, um, Time very well spent in online school. And then, um, I also got to keep the tiny little robot model that uh, I that that I make in that me and, that me and Penny make in season uh, in season one episode seven episode seven and um, I got to keep it and the light still works and everything but as soon as that battery dies it's over because I have no clue how to change it. I um, I think if you're one of your teachers is watching your F. Um, but anyway, I know, I yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's fine. I graduated sophomore year, so I'm in junior year now that I don't, I don't right. have to deal with it. <laughs> I, um, for all three of you guys, um, what are you, what are you allowed to actually tease about season three? What, what, what do you want to tell fans about it? Everybody dies. Uh, no, um, <laughs> no, basically what I can say is that, um, Will Robinson for for the past two seasons we've we've been building up that he's growing that he's becoming a young adult and then in season three we really we really hammer that home knowing it's the final season we wanted we wanted to make sure that we did that uh, that we really completed this portion of his life so um, you can definitely expect an older Will Robinson uh, and then you know of course with age comes responsibility individual responsibility and uh, so with that comes comes individual decisions and then consequences and having to deal with those consequences yourself. Yeah. And I think um, as with the last two seasons, it always kind of builds in scope too. So because we start the season or um, separated from the parents, there's a lot that we have to learn to do on our own without being able to rely on the support system that we'd had before. Um, so it is kind of seeing how the kids are able to face new challenges um, and then how the parents are handling the separation as well. Yeah, I mean, this season is all about reconciliation, coming back together and being, you know, lost for lack of a better word. And um, there's a really loud back from outside of my door. <laughs> I apologize in here. Um, but yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of mystery and a lot of adventure and it's going to feel really big and exciting and um also sad because it's you know coming to a close but but yeah hopefully they can have some chill times ahead <laughs> of all the, the madness they've experienced the last <laughs> few years um yeah on that note i gotta stop i'm just gonna say i'm looking forward to seeing the last four episodes and um thank you so much for giving me your time and you know wish you nothing but the best Thank you.